testing. Here we are, Weeborg Point, Fish Creek, Wisconsin. Having a little day of the picnic and going to go visit the family fair. So let's present, let's pretend this is the Nile River. Yeah, see, there's Kira grinning at that. So let's pretend this is the Nile River. And we're in Egypt, and those, those sails out there are the, the whatchamacallit boats going up and down the river in Egypt. And this is like a wide part of the Nile. Okay, so Egyptologists tell us they tell us the chronology of Egypt, or they did tell us the chronology of Egypt spanned about 5,000 years, and that was back in the, the 19th century that they said that. Well, an interesting thing has happened in 150 or 200 years, and that's a, that so-called 5,000 year chronology has dropped about 2,000 years off of it. So now it's only 3,000 years in the conventional Egyptologist chronology. So that gets us to ask the question is as to why, why did it get to be 5,000 years in the first place? Why did it get to be 5,000 years in the first place? So I should check a setting here. Oh, it's working. Just not enough light for me to see what's going on in the screen. Well, in the first place, the scholars who were doing their Egyptology and reading the chronology, they didn't really believe the scripture timeline when they put their chronology together. They didn't believe the Hebrew scripture chronology. Some tried to use a longer Septuagint chronology, but the original source is the Hebrew text, which is a, has a shorter chronology. And of course, there were scholars with secret motivations to contradict scripture or to show it's not true or whatever. And they didn't all overtly said it, say that, but um, they presented a chronology that was much longer. So, the flood was at 24, um, let's see if I remember my chronology right, 2483 BC. So, Egyptian chronology has to come down by another five to 800 years in order to fit the biblical timeline. And the question is, how do we do that? Well, a scholar named David Down had an excellent idea and that's that um, some of the dynasties of Egypt, which in the 5,000 year version are all chained up together with no overlaps or few overlaps, um, were actually contemporary. And as time has gone on, we found that Egyptologists indeed believe that some of the dynasties were contemporary. So we have the first intermediate period where Egypt was in chaos and multiple dynasties were ruling. We have the second intermediate period and the third intermediate period. Is it weird to see the world spinning around? Well, no, not really, because other YouTubers do it. Or as I should say, rumblers, since we're doing rumble too. Okay. I'm getting commentary on how I'm making the video here. You know I'm not editing this. Yeah. You're not Un it's that. unedited. You better not be putting that on Rumble. You're not going to put that on Rumble, are you? Because we didn't consent to be in a video. As soon as you talk to me and you see me with the camera, you're consenting. <laughs> you said do what you want, remember? You're already there. 
<laughs> okay. So, I've told them this before. They don't want to be on camera, don't open your mouth. Um, so where were we? Oh, so how do we get the chronology to come down? I mentioned David Down had the idea that the, the dynasties were overlapping. And we, we have that even in conventional or what would be considered academic uh, mainstream Egyptian chronology. They actually do admit that during these intermediate periods that the chronology was overlapping. But the question is, did they get all of it? Did they find all of the overlaps? Well, if we look at their track record from the past, having already come down from a 5,000 year long chronology to a 3,000 year chronology, and we only need to squeeze another five to 800 years out of them in order to get it to line up with the biblical timeline, then I'm willing to bet that they missed a few things. So I, I took Down's idea um, and he, he overlapped chronologies to bring it down to accommodate a flood date of, of about 2350 BC. Now why is his flood date different than mine, which is 2483 BC? Um, the reason is, is because during the book of Judges, um, the 480 years in 1 Kings 6 1 doesn't actually represent all of the years. It only represents the years um, that they were free of servitude from, from, the, from pagan nations. So, so there's a missing 134 years there. Okay, so that's the difference in the two dates. You go about 2350 plus uh, 134 years, you end up in 24, what do you end up about 2483 actually. Okay, so that's, that, that helps a lot. Okay, so taking Dallin's idea, I went through all the evidence just to see what I could shake through loose in the Egyptian chronology. And what I found when looking at the Saqqara King list was an interesting thing was the Egyptian King list skipped from, skipped most of the, most of the first part of the 12th dynasty down to Mentu Hotep the second. And in that period, um, you can overlap it with the remain, with the end of the fifth and sixth dynasties of Egypt. So you can, you can eliminate, legitimately, you can eliminate a lot of, a lot of excess time there. And there are some links with other nations that, that tend in this direction. So this is how I constructed the chronology and the scroll of biblical chronology, by taking this idea and seeing what would fit. And so we, we end up with, with um, Abraham, um, being contemporary with the end of the sixth dynasty. And then by the time we get down to, to Joseph, we're, we're well into uh, the twelfth dynasty, which is overlapped with the sixth dynasty. The, the, the twelfth dynasty overlapped it. So there are actually two parts of Egypt. And when Egypt is separated, Upper Egypt's ruled by different dynasties than Lower Egypt and the sixth dynasty ruled in lower Egypt. And while the first rulers of the 12th dynasty were ruling, they ruled, um, they ruled more in upper Egypt or upper central Egypt. So they were in conflict with each other. And you can see in the king list that there's some historical revisionism going on, even among the ancient Egyptian scribes. So, I guess that's long enough for, for this presentation. Um, we'll, we'll just keep it short and simple here. All right, this is Dan, over and out.